you do not have to be a hockey player in order to have fun with a puck. You see, this puck is a Bluetooth MIDI interface. So stick with me and I'll tell you all about it. Hello and welcome to Hack Attack. My name is Jakob Hack, I'm your host and you're watching a Hack Attack episode. This is the Puck Plus by Civics, not to be mixed up with the Puck. You see, they've actually made two of these devices. The original first Puck only had a DIN5 MIDI port and it wasn't using Bluetooth to connect to anything. No, it was using Wi-Fi. But this one, the Puck Plus, it also has a micro USB connection port and it's using the Bluetooth protocol to connect to your iDevice. Now, since the Puck Plus is a Bluetooth Bluetooth MIDI device, one thing that does come to mind is latency. I can hardly notice the latency when I use this thing. Now the Puck Plus is very portable and can be powered using two standard AA batteries and the Puck Plus actually ships with a pair. Now you find the battery compartment at the bottom of the Puck, which is rubberized so it stands pretty firmly wherever you place it. Now the side of the Puck is also rubberized and so it's very grip friendly. On the top you'll find the on off button and it's one of those you have to hold for a second or two and then let go in order for it to perform its function, which is either turning it off or on. Now there is something a bit quirky about turning off the Puck Plus. You see, if you're using it with a USB MIDI device, make sure you unplug the USB cable before turning the Puck Plus off, otherwise it might just turn itself on again. Now the Puck Plus can be set to actually power the USB MIDI gear that you connect to it and you'll have to turn on the power out function inside the Puck Plus app which you can find as a free download on the App Store but I'll show you more about that one in a second. You see there's actually a second way of powering your Puck and sometimes you might need this option if your MIDI controller is pulling more power than the Puck can handle. The Puck Plus ships with a Y cable. One is a connection port for USB MIDI gear and the other one for a power adapter. So you can power the puck using a wall power adapter and this way you'll also power whatever USB MIDI device you've got connected to the puck at the same time. And yes, you can also use a USB battery to power your whole session, like I'm doing right here. Now the puck has a way of indicating a low battery level with a red light circling around the power button. And when you've got the puck connected to the puck app on your iDevice, then you can also see the battery level by looking right there. Now before turning on the Puck for the first time, I do suggest that you download the Puck Plus app from the App Store and open it. Have it running while you turn on Bluetooth on your iDevice and then turn on the Puck Plus. When the Puck Plus is on, it's gonna start searching for something to connect to. And so you simply go into the device selection list inside the Puck app, look for the Puck and press on it to activate it. And by the way, this is how you connect the Puck Plus to any other app that supports Bluetooth MIDI connections. Right, so the app actually does contain some sounds, instruments if you want to call them that. I think they're Rompler based and I don't care much for them, but they're here simply for you to test your connections. And with this app you can configure the puck and that is something you're gonna have to do with the DIN5 MIDI port connection. The USB MIDI connection will work in both ways at the same time. In fact, there's really not much you need to configure when you're using the Puck Plus with USB MIDI gear, but not the regular DIN5 MIDI port. You see, this is important, so pay attention. The DIN5 MIDI port has a directional mode. You find a switch right here, and with this, you set the DIN5 MIDI port to work either as a MIDI in or a MIDI out. Now, you can use both the USB MIDI connection port and the DIN5 MIDI connection port at the same time. But for MIDI in, then the USB MIDI connection port will always take the puck. 
I'm not a sports commenter, so I don't even know if that joke worked. Did it? Did it work out? Now, as I mentioned earlier, the same way that you connect the Puck to the Puck Plus app is also the same way you connect it to any other app that supports Bluetooth MIDI connections, like Core Gadget or Beatmaker, to name a few. And the Puck will always appear in the device list as Puck... Well, there you have it, the Puck Plus by Zivix. Thank you so much for watching. All comments and ratings are very much appreciated. I've also got a Patreon page, so if you want to support creativity, good content here on YouTube, and good reviews like this one, well, <laughs> if you think that this is good, I kind of like it. I mean, I, I, I did spend a lot of time on it, but that's not really a good argument to why something would be good that you spend a lot of time with. That's actually a bad argument. Come on, Jacob. Then why not join up on Patreon? Now, if Patreon isn't your cup of tea, then I've also got a PayPal me link so you can do a one-off donation if you'd rather do that. If you don't want to do either Patreon... Oh, I bit my tongue. Ouch. Okay, that really hurt. If you don't want to do either Patreon or PayPal, then you can always share my videos, press the thumbs up, it really helps with the ratings around here. And if you subscribe, don't forget to press in that little bell. If you subscribe, don't forget to press in that little bell thing, because that way you'll get notified every time I upload a new video. As usual, I wish you a very productive week. Now go finger all of your stuff and have a lot of fun doing it. Even though my eyes are closed Even though my eyes